Yes. Maybe connected to this uh, question, when it comes to this, uh, let's say, um, less bad is not yet good or equal efficiency, um, isn't there a category of, let's say, small and mid-sized companies where I can imagine that at this stage at least, less bad is always better than very bad, so to say, because when it comes to re-winning, re let's say, CO2 excremations and so on, I can imagine that that's quite, well, let's say, a, a company that produces pots and pans, so to say, it's a very well, heavy investment. So there I can imagine that reducing at least, you know, your usage of CO2 is the best possible opportunity, at least in the short run, for this kind of context. And wouldn't that then, and then I'm always a bit, um, I find a bit of a pity that it's put in red, so to say, because red is this culturally determined color of alarm. Mm -hmm. So isn't that also a well, positive thing, although it would be even more possible, if possible, to well, turn less bad into good? But, but with a small pots and pans company, I wouldn't start with CO2. That's no, okay, but no, but that's a good example. About, that's yeah. a, that's a good, a good example. You don't have to be perfect on everything. That's mm -hmm. one of the important uh, approaches of cradle to cradle. So you have to mm -hmm. pick what you can do. Yeah. And what a pots and pan company can do is start to specify the quality of the steel that's in their pots and pans. Mm -hmm. Because they have immediate control over the supply chain. It's not a difficult thing for them to do. And we, we're doing that already, uh, right now actually, with a pots and pans yeah. uh, supplier. So we, we won't even talk about uh, CO2, except what we will say is, um, what percentage of the steel is mm -hmm. certified as uh, recycled? Because mm -hmm. that is an immediate win on CO2. <coughs> mm -hmm. That's for sure. So there are things that they can do that it are within their capability. So the question actually doesn't come up until mm -hmm. they've actually achieved a quick win. Once they get to further steps, mm -hmm. then we can start to address the CO2 issue. But that is where communities mm -hmm. come in. So the SMEs on their own might not be able to do it, except the SMEs that are actually using CO2 as a product. Yeah. That's a yeah. different category. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the SMEs that are still generating CO2, mm -hmm. we would create a community of those to then go to the base manufacturers and say, hey, there is a project called OCAP mm -hmm. in Rotterdam. How many people have heard of OCAP? Okay, <laughs> OCAP is uh, an example of how these SMEs can leverage their cloud. Mm -hmm. There is a chemicals company in uh, the port of Rotterdam that is generating quite clean sources of CO2. The CO2 is being extracted and put into a pipeline and piped to several hundred greenhouses in the Netherlands at a profit. At half the price, it would cost those greenhouses to generate the CO2 themselves for growing their plants. So there is a CO2 pipeline in the Netherlands that's been operating since the beginning of 2013, which is capturing CO2 and using it as a nutrient for plants in greenhouses to support the greenhouse industry in the Netherlands. Mm -hmm. The pots and pans producers can start to go to their manufacturers, mm -hmm. the big steel manufacturers, and say, hey, if these guys can do it, why can't you? That's how you do it. Yeah. So in each case, it's a different uh, uh, situation. 